Welcome once again to Taxonomy Online Mathematics. We are still on the topic algebraic extraction. This time around, we want to tackle algebraic fractions. Algebraic extractions involving fractions. There is a first type where we have the denominator being a monomial, meaning a single term, not binomial, meaning it's not two terms but just a single term. So in doing so, what we do is that if you are to simplify two terms that are algebraic fractions, difference by either plus or minus, we first of all find the LCM of the denominators. If there are four terms, five terms, we find their LCM. Then two, we express each of the fractions in terms of the LCM. We express each of the fractions in terms of the LCM, then we simplify. That is the two uh, simple steps we can follow when we are having algebraic fraction involving monomial as well, denominator. So in this case, we have 2a over 3 minus a minus b over 2. The denominators are 3 and 2. So what is the LCM? So if I find the LCM, of 2 and 3 I have 6 so I'm going to have 6 I'm going to express each other fraction so this fraction the denominator goes into 6 how many times 2 the 2 in 10 multiply the 2a to give us 4a then our minus sign will come then 2 in 10 go into 6 how many times I believe that is 3 times so we have 3 now, in this case, we have to bring a bracket because this numerator is two terms, as in a minus b. If I don't introduce the bracket, my factor, which is 3, will only be multiplying the a, leaving the b behind. So, it is multiplying both the a and the b. Therefore, I introduce a bracket. So, now I can simplify the top, which is going to be 4a minus a negative in front of the bracket changes the sign inside so minus 3a minus minus plus 3 what b all over 6 right good we are having a a so we take the coefficient 4 minus 3 and that will be 1 so 1a so that is just a plus 3b all over 6 is the simplification of this expression i believe it's right good so we will take another example similar to this and see how we can get that so we have 5 on 6 r minus 3 on 4 r we are to simplify so we can see these are two fractions we look out for the lcm don't forget the the constant is 4 and 6 so if I find the LCM, the two constants will be able to divide it. So if I use 12, I believe 4 can divide 12, 6 can divide 12. Then the R is the same R, so I'll add one R. You know, R is a common factor for R. So this is going to be, our LCM is going to be 12R because 6R can go into 12R only two times. Meaning, when you divide this, the R will cancel. The 6 will go into 12 two times. That 2 will multiply our 5 to give us 10 minus 4R into this will just be 3. Because we are having 12R over 3R. The R will cancel. 3, 4 will go into uh, 12 three times. So 3, 3, 9. So now we can simplify the top to have 1 over 12R. So the answer we are just looking for is just 1 over 12R as the final answer. Good. Then let's look at the second one. It is also having a single monomial as a term of our denominators. So we look out for the LCM. In this case, our LCM still remains what? 6. So, I have my 6 as the LCM, 3 going here, 2. So, 2 is going to multiply our numerators, 
but there are two terms. So I put them in bracket. Minus 2 goes into 6 3 times. So this 3 will go into bracket. Then 3 into bracket A minus what? B. Check the top well. You can see already I have 3 into bracket A minus B. If I like, I can expand it to remove the bracket before bringing this 3. But you can see 3 is multiplying whatever we have as our numerator. So they maintain their original position. 3 into bracket A minus B. Bracket close, close the final bracket. Alright, so let's simplify the numerators. This will multiply this to give us 4A plus 4 times 2 will give us 8B minus, I will prefer to maintain this 3 into bracket, expand the inner bracket as in 3 times A, I get 3A, 3 times B, I get 3B, then all over what? Our denominator 6. So what do we do? We still have a bracket to expand, so we maintain our 4a, 8b, minus 3, times this give us what? 9a, negative in front, so this sign becomes what? Plus 9b, all over 6, right? Good. So a, a, b, b, like terms, we group them together, maintaining their operators. So this is going to be 4a, Minus 9a plus 8b plus 9b. All still on what? 6. So now we can get the value from there as a a being branded. So 4 minus 9. 4 being smaller than 9. We can't take away 9 from 4. So we get a negative value. So we have negative 5a. 8 plus this will give us plus 17b all over what? 6. So our answer is this minus 5a plus 17b over what? 6. If you don't like negative to be in front of a number, you can change this to become 17a, 17b as positive coming first, then minus 5a all over what? 6. It is still the same answer. We are only changing the position of the 5 and the 17. I believe this case is correct. Alright. So if you have any algebraic fractions that involve the denominator to be a monomial, a single term, first find the LCM, second express the, each of the fractions in terms of the LCM. Then you simplify. Alright. So with all this being true, we have simplify a minus b over 3 plus 3a over 2. I believe at this point, you can be able to simplify that. If you are able to simplify that, then send the answer to the comment section. Let's learn together. The channel still remains Tazonomi Online Mathematics. Please like, share, comment, and uh, we will all be learning together. See you in the next episode as we take the type 2, where the denominator involves binomial. Alright.